only woman I ever really trusted. Come on! Sir? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oliver Eason here. Back with some more Red Dead Redemption for Mad Antics. Episode 17. Below John Marston's pacing up and down. You're probably thinking, why, why, why is he doing that? Well, if you haven't been watching the past 16 episodes, or you haven't been familiar with the Red Dead Redemption storyline, then I would urge you to watch the previous 16 episodes. So, well, if you haven't seen episode 16, go back and watch that, because that's the last episode from 17, and we are right back in a good all of USA. Or is it good? Is it really good? Who knows? Well, it's certainly not for this man, John Marston. You see, he's only come back to America to find out that his family have gone into hiding. And he's being played like a puppet. Like, you know them puppets on strings? Yep, exactly, that's how he's being played. But, you know what? He has to play along. He has to play along in order to see the family. Because this is all the man thinks about. Is his family. He's killed Bill Williamson. If you haven't seen that. Make sure you go back and watch them episodes. That's why they're important that you watch it. He's killed Javier Escuela. There's not much many people left. Apart from apparently maybe one person. And that person you ask. Is this guy named Dutch? Guy. That Marston used to run with his leader. We'll find out at home with Dutch, but we're going to see Incredible. Professor hello, McDougal Professor. Oh, hello, sir. for the oh, first time in the series. If you are enjoying this series, you? if you could show your support, well, that'd be tremendous by hitting a like on this video. But anyway, I'm going to let you enjoy the cutscene. hard won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir. Are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. You'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? Microscope. No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives Look at them and skulls, white oh men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship... This guy is definitely mad. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So is it a remarkable drug? It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. Oh. oh. Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come I in, sir. No, no. Would you not... like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars. But still, this guy is like, is stop being so stereotypical. He can speak English. Spoken too simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. Yep. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of... Take off the slippers and put it up up his booty. Both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochine. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Oh, this ain't marvelous. You see, John is forced to call the man. He, he's probably closest thing to a father figure that he's had. Like, Dutch might not be a perfect... Um, Father figure, but this guy raised him from the orphanage, took him under his wing, and said, Hey, John, this is your family. You got to kill him too? Kill him? 
Good God, no! What is oh. it with you people out here? No, Vandalin fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's perverse integration or... I don't think just because he hangs out with native, now. he's a savage. I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like You seem yet. to be, like, really smart, but really dumb at the same ah, time. You know that, <laughs> Ndougal. Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> But oh. anyway, yes, as some kind of Robin yeah. Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. Oh, there's it's a buffalo. It's job to read too much into everything, dear boy. There's buffaloes, though. Look, Mr. Marston, buffalo. <laughs> what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. Oh, so what hard to believe that. Buffaloes. Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon there will be no buffalo left. Who That's true, I was about to say. Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. You really want to say that to the buffalo now? Know what we know? I don't agree with, honestly, like, hunt for sport, like, animals, yeah, man's got to eat, but it doesn't need to turn into a game of prize. In real life, that's my view, like, just get out there. But if you're feeling to eat, like, natives did, that is fair game, because you need to, but it's, it's a choice. But to have it hanging on your wall, or wearing it, mm, I have mixed feelings about who that really profits. You're just, just taking away something from its family no just to have it around you or have on your wall. It's not I like you would like it if it was the other way around. A bear with a gun and then and like one of your family members on the wall. I know it sounds funny in hindsight because it's not possible. But you know what I mean. It's like, think of roles reversed. Like, I like, that's how I always look at things. Like, I like to think of things... Down the middle, I like to think of things 50-50, um, but have a definitive answer as well. But, like, how would you like it if it was the roles reversed? Like, say, if you were the animal, and you know what you know now, and you have all the things around you, as you would as a human, but you're just the one getting hunted. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think? It's just my opinion. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that m too much, we're playing Red Dead. Truly a great game indeed. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for highs. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, a head for highs. I'm sure the stars will help. I'm gonna you hit you high above the head, mate. I've Maybe knock some sense into you. Backhand you. Nah, nah, I don't get no bones, but this guy. This guy. I see a spot where we can climb up. Alright. We can? Oh, you can give me a boost? Alright. Oh, no, no, I'm gonna leave you here, buddy. Nah, I guess I'll go out give you a hand up. Come on. Oh! Come on. Pull yourself up. Come on, mate. Faster. Jeez, you're a slow climb. Just got an idea. Wouldn't it be technically easier if you just stood on your horse? Like, and then kind of done it from there? Oh. Well. Oh. Let's go full, mate. Damn. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Why, why can't you let me go up first? Like you did just then. Okay, find another route. It looks like we might have already found one. All right. No time like the present. Am I supposed to make that jump? Alright, uh, I think I am... Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I was going to try and make that a huge gap until he decided to stop, think a second, and there we go. I love how conveniently there's another way. Where there's a will, there's a way. When there's a John, there's also a way. 
Maybe not the way you always like, but it's a way nonetheless. Oh! Nice. What's going on down here, eh? Hey? There's a cave over here. Might go through or up the mountain. We're about to find out, aren't we? Alright. I don't like this arm of it, so I'm gonna switch weapon to my bolt. My bolt rifle. Bolt action rifle. Good. This should save us some time. No jetpacks here indeed. From TNT though, so better watch out. Nikita Rock. Like, the amount of detail, let's just be, appreciate how much detail went into this game for a second, like, and just read that to her hand, oh, oh. this is going to be as beautiful, probably have more detail, next gen capabilities, it's beautiful in this game. This way. What way? This way? Alright, lead the way, mate. I was following you anyway, but... Whoa! Oh, come on, he's only being friendly. He wanted a hug. Actually, no. I, I don't think he did. Oh. So, kind of good to see we're not alone. Let's get. Yeah, this is a better weapon to get out. Let's search him. Whoa, explosive. We're getting out of it. Okay, Nastus. I just did all the work. What are you doing? I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I love how calm he's in the two. We'll see you on the way down. Oh. Man down, don't man down. Worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. I'm not worried about you, I barely know you. Sorry, but it's true. Alright, uh, we need to find a way down. We need to find a way out. You go ahead. I, I am going ahead. Don't need to tell me twice. Oh, wait a minute. Don't need don't need a horse. Oh, far away. Come on. Probably gonna wait. Run faster. Let's go. Oh. Just somehow I know where he is. Oh, I hear something. Oh, damn. Climb off it. Oh, damn. Come on then. Let's have it, bear. You're a good bear. You're a good bear? Okay. Whoa! Whoa! I'm sorry, I don't want to do this. Don't make me shoot this, please. I'm sorry, I didn't think you was going to shoot. Oh man. Oh. Might as well skin it and get some profit for that. Tough one, ain't you? Uh, I know I said about not killing and kind of for trophies, but it's to sell. It's for a commodity, it's for selling. No, uh, it's not for sticking on my wall. It's not. I don't condone it. Oh, jeez. Oof. Let's make this quick. Ooh, look at the blood on the screen. Ooh. All right. So I'll find another way up there. Wait a minute. So I gotta find another place to climb up, eh? This place. There we go. Look at that. I'm guessing back down this way. Make sure I don't fall off the snow. There we go. Look at that. The boy found his way up. Sorry, I have the, the skin of the animals like... Whoa! 
What? That didn't happen. Run it back. Jeez. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm not worried. Good luck. Like, I didn't think you could get attacked during that. Oh, I'm so new. Jeez. Like, that just came out of nowhere. Just pounced on me. Oh. Alright, let's go. Let's climb. Yes, John Marston, it's a good idea to roll. You know what's coming. I'm going to see if we can go past it. I felt bad about killing that bear. I felt bad about killing the bear on the game. But, do I walk past you? Mind your own business? Hey, buddy. You good? No, yeah, you're good? Okay, maybe not. No, I just stood there. Alright, oof. Oh, I don't, I don't want to kill you. No, I don't. I'm not gonna kill you. All right, I'm gonna spare you. Maybe you have more respect for me that way. I don't know. But we're not gonna try and kill you. We're not even gonna harvest any meat. All right. Look, we respect the wilderness. Respect the wild west. Respect the wilderness. All right, let's go. Hey, this is where it came out me last time. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like you, though. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's climb up here, shall we? Oof. That was close. That was close indeed. I know that John Marston's a hunter, and that's what they did back then, but still, we're, we're remaining strong. We don't need to do it. Whoa, that was close. Oh. And now uh, we've arrived. Look at that. X marks the spot. Indeed it does. Look at John Marston. Look at that boy climb. Neutralize. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna... Can I take him out? Oh! Oh, look at that. You know how much I love my duck, right? Find evidence of Dutch. Oh. Oh. In this respect, just walking right over. Oh, shot. I'm not dead, play dead. That's it. Tom's dead. Mr. He just Marston? climbed all nothing, nothing. Mr. Marston. What happened? Mr. Marston. I'm not objecting to me with that cocaine stuff. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. Okay, you have my respect, Nastas. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was Let's just meet my blade. <laughs> and now we have brought you civilization. I'm well, sure it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man. Mister, 
Gentlemen, Told you. I'm not anyone. I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Oh. Then again. <laughs> oh, you got made him mad. Oh. All right. So we are going to do another thing. Oh, what's this? All right. What's this person got for us before we continue? Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. Because honesty is, in my business, the worst policy. I well, work for a respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Oh. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. Okay. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. Don't talk to me about being proud. This man's not going to be proud. Who is funny? Shall we do this? Well, you know what, we got a time for one more mission. Let's go. 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Geez, your doors are open. Your doors are open. Ah, okay. Okay, maybe we've got time to do this. Alright, so let's see what we've got to do, shall we? We got a uh, journal. Okay. Nate Johns. Alright. Take care of the political opponent of the governor, and you are promised a big reward. You have been given photos to use as blackmail. We got so many strangers. So many strangers. Oh, where are we heading? Oh, not too far away. For once in the quest. All right, let's let's do this. We can do this one. Come back between 7 a.m. 6 a.m. You know what? John Marston's gonna sleep. He's already got enough problems. How this man doesn't have a headache, although he did have a bash to the head not so long ago, is beyond me. Head must be going like a twister. Going round and round. You know that engine that he's always Alright, so now we're gonna go back to where we start. So yeah, have a quick nap. Fast forward time. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Alright. There we go. We're gonna climb, climb, climb. Oh. And now it's morning. Look out, mister. The new morning. Yes, it is. Alright. So now. Not even gonna worry about the time. Got to look up here. So, oh, there is a man there now. An officer. All right. What are you doing, buddy? Get away! I don't want you to expose me. Here we go. We're gonna go into the office. Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate you, Johns. You like him? Why, that no good lying back stabbing bastard, I like to see him horse whipped. <laughs> uh. Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted. 
Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Change the tune. Hey. Was that it? Was that? Wow. Okay. Now that wasn't so hard. Did, can I collect my big reward now? Oh man, that was that was easy. I did that like I could have done that blindfold. But it's as uh, straight as forward as that. Let's find out. Hey mate, I did the job. Wow. Twenty two twenty two dollars for black man. Oh man, that, that, you call that a lot of money. You know what, sir? You're coming down with me. Alright? You're coming here with me. $22. I was expecting at least triple digits. Although you can't really put them on some blackmail. This is going to teach you a lesson. You don't blackmail people either. I was doing it. I'm grateful it was a bit of a short challenge, but hey. I love how I'm going to get one two for this. Just nothing to see here, officer. Look, nothing to see, officer. Just finding my own business. Taking care of business. Come on. Yep, you can keep that gun aimed at me. I'm not going to do anything. You have that gun aimed at me. That's fine. Alright. Come on. Need it up. Okay. Like... Come on, mate. Just roll over. <sighs> Satisfaction. <laughs> now let's go on for the mission, man. That was a bit... I don't know what to think of that, but there we go. Great men are not always... They're not always what? Welcome. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. Man, you climb very slow, mister. Look, this is how fast you should climb. Look at that. spring hilled John over here. Oh, you got a sniper for me? That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. Am I the only one who's got a sniper? Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Got it. Don't shoot. That man is a hostage. Uh, I think I can see that. They shot him dead. They're coming out. Gun them down. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting an actual standoff. Whoop. What do you think you're going, mister? Open the windows? I see him. Hey man, and uh, you wanna gain cover? I don't know. Okay. Okay, well these are two other guys. Oh, I see him. More concerned about the guy here. Oh, headshot. Where is it? Man in the window. I see no man in the window. What's this man in the window? I see men here. Come on. Whack a mole, whack a mole. Boom. Headshot. Shoot him in the booty. 
from this guy. Oh, you're all missing this one guy. Okay, where is he? Let's see if we can spot him. Is he in this window? Nope. Picking this window? Nope. That doorway? Nope. Aha! Poke up your little perky head in the morning. Shoot it right off with a roll and bark rifle. Head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get I was about to say, you're sending me the bank alone? Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. All right. We can take them. We can take them. Yeah. Let's go and get the show. No, come on, I'm taking turn better than this. Look at this. The three of us. The three. Oh. Shoot the door open. It was already open. Well, I'll do the honors gladly. Real men don't, Real men don't need hostages. Oh man, that's close. Oh, void her. Oh, look at that. All right, he's upstairs. You say? He might be upstairs. Okay, that's Lord man. Why can they take care of the guys who are in here? Oh. Take your arm out. You could tell me you were Dutch's friend. Maybe not. You got us covered. Alright. Open up. Ready or not. Oh. oh. It's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Just like a bullet in between your eyes is gonna fly. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Oh. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? Mm. You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Oh! oh. God damn! Bullshit! Whoa! I don't see him. Okay, Dutch. I wasn't sure about killing you, you because kill we have sheriff. history. You As you just long. saw in that brief second. But on, now, you cross the line the that you can't come back from. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Oh, look all this. Look all this. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sent to show. I'm sent to show. Look at this. Look at this. Look, the cavalry's arrived. Uh, uh, what do you think I'm doing? Just being like in the middle as always in these situations? I'm gonna lead. I guess so. Has he changed? 
No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? What's with all the questions? He kind of reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now Aww. you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. So, no matter what, John does feel a sense of loyalty toward Dutch, but since his family is held hostage, it's not a killing that he wants to do. You can see that, but oh, we're in tall trees again. How do you get out of the car that space of time? Come on. Come on, dude. Be practical. Be realistic. Whoa. Gone out of sand. Oh. Whoa, what? I can see anyone. Oh, oh man. Run it back, run it back. Oh, jeez. Like, sometimes the combat's good, but sometimes it's really, like, fixated on targets. All right, let's go. Let's help eliminate the boys. Reload, reload my gun. All right, so we're back. Boom in the head. How many men does Dutch have? They're retreating to Valkyrie camp. I don't know what's more dangerous, me coming out with a gun or bears. Let's not stay still in one spot. Come on, John. I oh, should know what? Let's get off my horse. I think that'd be a bit better. At least I wouldn't be more of a target, but I'm still getting hit. Alright, let's go. Oh, shot is face off. Oh. It's you or me, friend. Oh. Where's Dutch Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? Didn't see him. When the opportunity presents itself. I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> oh, that's my gratitude. <clears throat> Killing a guy who John considers his father and a mentor. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where we're gonna call it. An episode, oh man, but. Oh, it's been quite my ride. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy that, let me know what you thought to it in the comments. But if always, a great indication. If you don't want to comment, is a great thumbs up. So, if you could drop a like. If you haven't, for whatever reason, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that bell notification icon on so you never miss a notification when a video goes up i've been on racing until next time i'll see you in another vid video thanks for watching bye bye have a good